Now this is a good question to do on box and whisker plots. So do have a go and uh, if you're stuck at any time and want to check your answers you can always fast forward to my work solution. Okay well welcome back if you did have a go and we've got to draw then a box plot for this summary data. And first of all I'd want to check out the median. The median's 12 and so I'd want to put a line in where we've got a value of 12. So that's going to be about here, okay? So it's going up in steps of two. So I draw a line down there, okay? So that's at 12, the median. Then we've got the lower quartile at seven. So we're seven on here. Well, that's two squares per unit, so that's six, and then that's going to be seven there. So we'll draw a line down there for the lower quartile, and the upper quartile is at 14. So that's just going to be there. Okay, draw a line in there. And then we complete the box around this. So now having done this, we've got to now put on the outliers. So we're told that an outlier is an observation that falls either 1.5 times the interquartile range above the upper quartile or 1.5 times the interquartile range below the lower quartile. So to work those out, let's just work out what the interquartile range is. I'll just abbreviate it IQR. And the interquartile range, remember, is the upper quartile, 14 in this case, minus the lower quartile and the lower quartile is seven. And if we subtract that, the interquartile range is seven then. So when it comes to working out what these outliers are going to be, then if we look towards the lower one, then it's going to be the lower quartile, which is going to be seven, minus one and a half times the interquartile range, which is seven. And if you work that out, that comes to minus 3.5. And when we're looking for the upper outliers, where they're going to be, we just need to take the upper quartile, 14, and then plus to that one and a half times the interquartile range. So 1.5 times the interquartile range of seven. And if you do that, you end up with 24.5. So, let's take the upper outlier boundary first of all, 24.5. And you can see that the only value above that is the 25 here. So we tend to mark across then for that value there. So there's one outlier. Now 20 then is below this outlier value. So 20 then becomes the highest value before we reach any outliers. So we mark that in with a bar like this, okay? And then we join from there, the upper quartile to that bar. So you've got your outlier out here. Now when it comes to the outliers that are below the lower quartile, the boundary is minus 3.5. Well, we can't have anything like that here because we've got three and four which are to the right, they're above this value. So we don't need to mark any outliers on for this section here. We just take the lower of these two values, which is clearly three, and we mark three on our diagram with a bar like this. So that's where three is, and then we just join back up to the box. Okay, hope that's given you an idea then if you had some problem with that.